Pharmacy eyeshadow palette tutorial. I'm going to do two, maybe three different eye looks in one. Okay, I'm going to do, uh, the first step is going to be a simple look, and then the second step I'm going to take it a little bit more dramatic, and then the third look will be the final look, and that will be the most dramatic look, okay? And I'm going to use the Glam Up palette. Uh, let me show you these colors. These colors are beautiful. They are neutrals and roses, shimmers. And this black is so pretty okay so I love this this is my favorite one but I also use several from the Wonderlust palette okay and that's this one as you can see there's a lot of pinks there's just a lot of colors going on in that one and then the other one is the iconic palette and there's colors in that one too there's a lot of shimmers in that one and just a few mattes, okay? So the one that I'm gonna showcase is the Glam Up palette. And I'm gonna use pharmacy brushes as well, and I'm gonna go over those. First things first, I always do my eyebrows first and I prime because our primer is amazing and it not only primes the eye skin to take on this color. It also camouflages um, imperfections and discoloration. As you can see there, I'm like purple and blue here. I've got some pink and blue under my eyes. And this primer is gonna take care of all of those imperfections for me. So right now I'm gonna apply that and I've got a teensy tiny little sponge. You can find these at beauty supply stores. Um, like Ulta, Sally's. You probably can find them at Walmart. I haven't looked myself, but um, I'm sure that Walmart has the small ones. These in particular, I did get at Ulta. So you, I know you can pick them up there. So I just want you to notice how well this primer is covering priming my skin and covering those imperfections, okay? So here's this eye, and let me compare it to this eye. See how pink and purple I am here? And it completely covered it. So you can at this point use transparent powder to set that. I don't, I've, I don't do that. I feel like the more products I put on my eyes, the more it causes to crease. So I just do the primer and let the primer do its job, okay? So now, <clears throat> this is the Pro brush kit that Pharmacy offers, and I love this brush. It's like a blending brush, and it's really large. See how big it is? And it's just perfect for getting an eye color on really fast, especially if you're running late for work. Now, my go-to colors in this palette is this Dusty Rose, I love this buff color. I use Warm Teddy, and I use these, as you can tell. A lot of shimmers, I don't I do not do a lot of shimmers. I mean, it's not that I don't love shimmers. I'm just so in love with these matte eye colors that I'm really using them like crazy. So what I want to show you all, I'm gonna do something simple. Let's go with the buff. That's this color here, and I'm using this and tap it off so the fallout gets in on your face. And I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna open my eyes. See where I have, I'm not completely hooded. You can see my lid. But this is where I wanna concentrate that color, okay? So I'm just pressing it or stamping it in, and then I'm gonna blend. And you can blend in a circular motion just to blend that buff color. Like so. So this is the first part of this eye look. So this is the part, you know, that you're running late or you're just gonna run errands and you don't wanna completely doll up. 
but you don't want to be barefaced as you know either so this is the first step of a simple look okay so I applied it to the crease and above the crease and it's coming down on the lid a little bit alrighty very very simple circular motions I'm coming this way a little and I'm coming out down back to that crease and just blending it okay very very simple okay so now to finish the simple look I'm gonna take a little bit of magnolia same brush press it in and then blend and I'm putting it basically on the other areas of my eye that I didn't apply the buff and just blending okay and then once I've got it applied I just blend okay so this is step one very very simple eye look okay you can leave the house with this you can slap on some mascara a little bit of liner and you're good to run errands or you know do something really fast if you're late for work okay so now let's just say we have a little extra time so we want to do something a little bit more sassy okay so let's um, let's add a shimmer I haven't done a shimmer in a while so how you can do that is let me let you in on a little secret have you ever used a glitter or a shimmer and it doesn't transfer well on your eye you lose half of it before it even makes it to your eyes do you remember these little sponge tip applicators from the 80s 70s 80s and 90s get you some of these at the Dollar Tree because they're perfect for glitter eyeshadow. They latch onto that and get it on your eye exactly where you want it without losing it, okay? So I'm gonna take this sponge tip applicator and let's just do a little bit of Raina. Let's do some colors, okay? And I'm just gonna press it in there, get some on this sponge tip applicator, okay? And I'm just gonna press it right here. Press it on the lid. And then once I've pressed it, I'm just gonna work it back and forth, blending it. And so what that's doing is it's a darker color, plus it's a shimmer, it's gonna add some effect right here on the lid, and you can take it all the way up to the crease, okay? And let's bring it out, press it in there, bring it out a little bit. Okay, so that's a step two in this look. And you can see it's going from a darker glitter to a lighter, more neutral matte, okay? and just blend it with this little sponge tip applicator and I get a lot of beauty supplies at the Dollar Tree because they're a dollar this is one thing I got this little thingy right here I got it's a one of the silicone foundation sponges and it's really neat because you do use less foundation so check the Dollar Tree out before you spend a fortune at Ulta you'll be surprised at what you can find okay so this is a second look that you can do now let's take it one more step let's do a wing with eyeshadow and I'm gonna show you a little trick you see this little piece of cardboard this came out of a pair of lashes and it was just the backdrop for the lashes and I pulled it I took the little plastic part off pulled this out and this is what I'm gonna use as my straight edge to do wing eyeshadow, okay? And depending on how you, how wide you like to go with your eye color, that's gonna be where you place it, okay? I'm gonna try to keep it like within the corner of my eye and the corner of that brow where it ends, okay? 
So I'm gonna go in with, and I'll show you the color in just a minute. I'm gonna go in with Enfuego. And I've got a little bit on this brush. And I'm just gonna work kinda at an angle. I'm going straight up the straight edge right here like this, but then I'm turning and going this direction with it as well. All right? Let's go for another coat because I said this step was going to be a little bit more dramatic. So let's do that. Let's make it a little bit more dramatic. And then I'm going to brush upward. Now, that's the look you get with that. Now, if you want to, you can take a little bit of black, okay? I'm gonna show you these colors. I'm just barely tapping my brush and just working up that crease with a little bit of black. See that how it just sort of creates that natural, beautiful shade right there. Check it out, how pretty is that? This is the Glam Up palette. I used one brush and one sponge tip applicator that shows you you don't have to you don't have to invest in an ungodly amount of of products of tools that are really bad hard on your budget to look good okay this should show you now I want to bring this down just a little bit and I I'm glad this happened because I want to show you you can fix it if you feel like you need to move it down a little further go back in with that first color and you can add more and fix fix it if you need to get it straighter and then just blend it and there you go okay so let's go back over these steps actually I just need to show you on this eye okay first things first primer If you want to, you can do liner or you can do eye color. I do Raina, this shimmer color. Let me do that. Let me apply Raina.
are so beautiful. Glam Up Palette, iconic, Wanderlust.